if I'm alright and what do I need for issue? Told them no, I'm fine. It's the same one that was with the cops yesterday, by the way. Apparently he went over and kicked the guy several times and the guy was unresponsive. And that's why he called him. Try kick it in the way you want. Rescue just pulled the guy's ID from his wallet and handed it to the ranger and the ranger just took it. Now he gave it back to Rescue and Rescue's putting it back in his wallet. Rescue showing that guy's ID to the ranger is a Fourth Amendment violation. I don't believe the rescue is even allowed to see it. I think he has to call the police if they want to forcibly ID the guy when he's unresponsive. But it's certainly a Fourth Amendment violation for a ranger to have seen it without the guy's consent. It's also a HIPAA violation. Okay, so this ranger's last name is Delgado because the female rescue person just called him by name and he went over there. She just said Delgado and he went over there. So I found out his name by eavesdropping rather than by his ID himself. And now I can go make the public records request for the photo he took of my ID. See if the park ranger touches the guy's stuff. You know he's not authorized to. Yes, there he goes. Oh, he's taking the dog. probably be able to get the dog back from animal services. Bicycle I'm not so sure about. And the rest of this stuff, forget it, it's gone. You'll never see that stuff again. Now tying that dog to the bicycle is a violation of the Florida animal cruelty law. Now he 
guy's picking up the rest of the guy's stuff and moving it. on the other side of the seawall and brought it back and put it next to the bike and you know, some tied the dog. He's taking it for a walk. Over under the tree in the shade, I guess. Now he tied the dog to the tree. Ranger Delgado, you know that uh, tying that dog to the tree is a violation of Florida animal cruelty laws? He ignores me, goes walking on. Now the dog's there tied to the tree, unattended. He has possession of the bulb and moved over next to the beach walk. We'll see who comes to pick them up. He got the dog water. Left it tied to the tree while it's drinking. Ranger vehicle 4765. This is, I guess, the supervisor. dog up in back of the pickup there. Explorer tag number XC5256. involved.
Alright, now what you just witnessed was the theft of a homeless guy's possessions by city workers. Rescue doesn't document that the guy left the possessions behind. They document the medical condition and they take him away. Neither rescue nor rangers have body cams. Rangers are not required to make out any paperwork on having seized all that uh, stuff. And it was totally illegal that they took it and they hauled it away. And I guarantee you the guy will never see it again because it won't get turned into the police property room where it belongs. None of those guys have body cams. That whole encounter should have been recorded on somebody's body cam. I still don't know if this guy was just really inebriated or, or if there was really something medically wrong with him, but in any case, these guys violated procedure and his Fourth Amendment rights by IDing him, removing the ID, the whole wallet from his pocket and IDing him, just like they did with me the day before that. Ranger Delgado, after my seeing him kick the other guy, and after my suddenly being awakened by him asking me whether I needed rescue, I'm assuming he kicked me to wake me up, but not hard enough that it, I felt it when I did wake up because it would be awful coincidental that I would have woke up at exactly that second otherwise. And then he went over to the other guy and he kicked him. And he kicked him hard enough to hurt him. Probably harder than he kicked me the day before. And the guy was unresponsive. So he called rescue. But something's gotta be done about Delgado. He can't keep going around kicking people like that. Well, that's it for this video. I'm out of here. Miami Beach artists, remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, leave a comment in the comment section to help the algorithm, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.